Alright guys, I just want to make this video to introduce my new design and also while contrasting with my old design. And they're both a little bit different from each other. They had their pros and cons. Um, sorry, my old design, there's always some videos of it on YouTube. You might have seen, you can pretty easy to find. Uh, this board consists of three modules. There's three controllers in this board. One controller will control four pixels, which are four inches by four inches square. And then there's three modules. Whereas this one is uh, quite a redesign. There's 16 pixels by three. One pixel is three inches by three inches square, so you get a little bit better you know, diffusion, I suppose you could say. And one controller for all 16 pixels. So four pixels, one controller, 16 pixels, one controller. And they operate a lot, you know, a lot of differences. There's um, a lot more digital communication involved in this one with uh, LED drivers, whereas this one is a little bit more, uh, a lot of analog signal conditioning. And this one is uh, a little bit more complicated, but I'm planning on kind of hopefully taking this design and taking the fact that this one works a little bit better and hopefully making this one work as well as this one does. See, they both have kind of the same distance per se, but if I turn the lights on, this one will stop working so well. It's actually stopped working altogether, and this one will keep working. And I'm still trying to figure out how to get around that problem. But uh, what I plan on doing is taking this idea and ordering like a pre-made PCB that I can just solder all the components on to this, all the LEDs and the sensors and the controllers and all that stuff, so I don't have to worry about, I can get away from making this, this kind of circuit See, it's kind of a nightmare. So I want to make every, I want to manufacture everything on this board at some point. Once I get it to work like this one does. So um, you can stop watching now if you don't like looking at circuits. Whatever. I'm just going to turn both the boards over, or at least just this one, and kind of take a peek at the circuits to give you an idea of better idea of what's going on. Let me turn the lights on. This one stopped working. <clears throat> this one still works. All right, well, I'll start with the old one. If you've seen the video for this one, you yeah, this would be all old news. But you know, it has uh, 18 mega, 48 or 16.8, one of those controllers. It'd be this guy, and there's a Darlington transistor array and a quad op amp. So you can see there's four pixels here. There's four sets of sensors and whatnot and for one controller so three controller boards for three modules and you know four pixels each whereas this one is pretty much the same controller but it has two of the same LED drivers the TLC 5940s and one would be for white lights and this one would be for the uh, infrared emitters and then you have 16 analog sensor ends from these footer transistors. So this one is a little bit more efficient because it can do one controller and pretty much cover more space with a higher pixel density than this one can. But this one, as you see, can just operates much better right now. That's probably because it only has to deal with four pixels, whereas this controller has to deal with 16 and, and the way this is set up is that all these all these sensor ends come into one pin on this controller so there's a lot of noise I have to deal with to kind of filter out and it takes a lot of work you know as this one makes it goes from one to the next one it just kind of does this 30 times a second like I'll make one cycle 30 times a second whereas this one makes I'll go one, two, three, all the way to 16, and it'll do that whole cycle every 16 
eight, no, eight times a second. So this one has a slower response, whereas this one has a faster response, only because it just it just samples a lot faster than this one does, because it has less to deal with than this. 16 and 4. I'll turn the lights off again, so this one will start working. And just kind of really show you how you can mess with this. See, this one, no matter how fast you go, it'll pick it up. But this one, if you go really fast, it's going to miss. It's going to miss because it's not going as fast as this one is, whereas this one's quite quite fast. But it's hard to get around that because I have to deal with only four sensors on here and 16 on here. So that's the... Uh, that's about all there is to it. I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, you know, check for updates. It's gonna take a long time. This took me to go from this to this took six months, and I just don't know when the next advancement will come. Probably no time soon. All right. Well, thanks again. Have a Merry Christmas.